Hello guys and welcome back to the F1 Tube YouTube channel and in today's video I will be reviewing the 2019 Azerbaijan Grand Prix qualifying sessions. And my words, what a long and chaotic qualifying session it was. It was basically everything we did not expect but I guess this is the Azerbaijan Grand Prix and Baku normally serves up unpredictability. For the second race in a row Valtteri Bottas will start on pole for Mercedes heading a Mercedes 1-2 and Mercedes pulled it out of the bag again. They're just the best team in F1 by a mile right now. Bottas's pole lap time of a 140.495 was under six hundredths quicker than Lewis Hamilton. The two Silver Arrows have really been pushing each other this weekend and Bottas has came out on top. But my, oh my, oh my, Ferrari's situation right now is laughable. There is no doubt in my mind, Ferrari should have locked out the front row today. But in Q2, the bad moments for Ferrari were just about to begin with Charles Leclerc crashing out after he set a lap time so he was classified as going through to Q3 but he obviously didn't participate and understandably he was fuming with himself. And Sebastian Vettel just has not had pace the entire weekend. Leclerc has been the quicker Ferrari driver and when the pressure was mounting on Vettel he was never able to succeed. I'm not saying Vettel is at fault for today, of course he's not but I feel that if Vettel was the one that crashed in Q2 and Leclerc would have been in the situation Vettel was, Leclerc would have maximised more performance than the German did. But if Leclerc starts P10, there's a chance he's not, but if he does start P10, I do think he will get a podium tomorrow. But in some consolation, the points are awarded on Sunday, not Saturday. Red Bull did all they could. The Honda power unit is just not on the level of the Ferrari or Mercedes power unit. Max Verstappen starts P4 and I believe he could pose a big threat to Sebastian Vettel. Hopefully the two drivers will go side by side into Turn 1 and that will be a frantic fight. Yeah, Gasly will obviously start tomorrow's Grand Prix from the pit lane and there has been a divide in opinion whether the penalty was justified about going over the rate way bridge. I'm not really going to go into too much detail, but there has been a divide in opinion about the penalty. With the regulations, yes, Pierre Gasly does deserve the penalty he got, but in terms of how the penalty goes with the incident, it's just not, you know, justifiable and that's going to hamper his entire weekend. I believe a heap of praise should be mounted on Daniel Ricciardo for managing to get his Renault, which has been a dog of a car all weekend, to P12. Especially given the fact that Hulkenberg was knocked out in Q1. Now, I'm not surprised Renault haven't been that competitive this Grand Prix, but I definitely did not expect them to be this bad. Going into the weekend, Haas feared this Grand Prix event, and it shows really, because Grosjean was knocked out in Q1, and Magnussen was knocked out in Q2. Too. Lando Norris had another fantastic qualifying session. He will start tomorrow's race from P7. And it's a surprise to me, especially given the fact that Sainz, who got out-qualified by Norris, he was so much quicker the entire weekend, but when it came to the nitty-gritty of qualifying, he was never able to get that raw edge. Antonio Giovinazzi, take a bow, son. He qualified P8, and it's such a shame because he will start from the pit lane or he will start at the back of the grid that's really sports his weekend but you know the guy has been super quick all weekend it's not a surprise given the fact that gp2 was one of his best tracks but what a session from him Kimi Raikkonen qualified P9, showing how quick the Alfa Romeo has been from start to finish. But driver of the day for me has to go to Sergio Perez qualifying P5. What a session, showing why he is the master of the Baku City street circuit. But Lance Stroll, oh my goodness, he has been so poor in qualifying this season. It's the fourth time in a row in 2019 Lance Stroll has been knocked out in Q1. His one light lap pace is absolutely dreadful. Yes, it does sound a bit strong, but Racing Point were really bigging up how quick Stroll is when on Saturdays he never shows that. Yes, on Sundays he is much quicker, but Part of being an F1 driver is being quick on Saturday and Lance Stroll just does not have that. Danny Kvyat has been sublime for the past few days with his pace and although he had that crash in Friday practice too, he's just been on it from the start. 
he has qualified P6 and will be looking for some very strong points finish tomorrow. But I believe it's fair to say Alex Albon did disappoint in the end. The Toro Rosso has been quick all weekend and I did expect him to get into Q3. I think this is the toughest Grand Prix Williams have had to digest for since I've started watching F1. I've never seen them suffer this much. Obviously you had the incident yesterday with George Russell which... I think the FIA and Baku City should compensate for. And then Robert Kubica had a bit of a smash in Q1, crashing at the castle section about 40 minutes before Leclerc crashed out in Q2. And the delays were actually really long, about half an hour for each stoppage. So, I mean, it made it more dramatic in the sense that we were having to wait for what was going to be a thrill in Q3. But... You know, this qualifying session has been brilliant since the green flag went in Q1 to the checker flag in Q3. Now, guys, I just want to let you know quickly, tomorrow's Azerbaijan Grand Prix race review might come out a bit later because there's a chance I'm going to miss the start of the Grand Prix. Hopefully, I don't miss the start of the Grand Prix because Azerbaijan is notorious for throwing up brilliant races. So if you are wondering why my video comes out a little bit later you will know eventually but guys that is it for today's video please like this video comment down below of some of the things i've said this video whether you agree or disagree with the comments i've made and i quickly would like to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed and commented on my last video my last video was the most successful in terms of subscribers we have gained on this YouTube channel and I cannot thank you guys enough. I am absolutely elated with the progress we have made on the F1Tube YouTube channel. And I would like to set a target of getting to 40 subscribers by the end of next week. I believe that is possible considering how successful my last video was. But until next time guys, see you later.